In this screencast, we're going to talk about setting vertical alignment using CSS. This vertical alignment style rule can get confusing when you're using it because it behaves differently when it's applied in different HTML elements. I'm going to show you a few examples of its behaviors. Let's first open up CSS folder. I have three vertical files. Let's look at the table one first. Now, I have a font size set to all the TDs. I have a top style. And what you have to do to set vertical alignment is vertical dash align colon. Then you can use a lot of different style settings. You have top. You have one that's middle. You have a bottom. You can even do superscript, subscript. Actually, let me show you here all the selections. You can do percentage, length, baseline, sub, which is subscript, super, superscript. You have top, text top, middle, bottom, text bottom. But I mostly just use top, middle, bottom. Then let's get back to here. I have a middle class. I have a bottom class. They all set different vertical, align, uh, vertical alignment values. Then I have a table, border 1, cell padding 3, cell spacing 0. And I have a row of four cells. The last cell you see I have a lot of line breaks. The reason why I do it is I want to stretch the table out vertically so you'll see the vertical alignments for the other three cells, which had the classes here. Now let's minimize this. Let's bring this up in browser, and you'll see cell 1 has top class, which sets vertical line to top. Cell 2 is vertical line middle. Cell 3 is vertical line bottom. So it works perfectly, just like the V-align setting inside your table tags. Now, let's look at the text file. I also have the top bottom class set and I have font size 25 set to the body so everything has a font size of 25 pixels but whenever a text is inside one of these classes they'll have a smaller font size and you'll see why in a little bit. So I have this set up to vertical line top I have the bottom class set to vertical line bottom. I have a super class that sets superscripts. And let's look at the HTML. This is an awesome something line of text. Okay. I wrapped the is with a span that sets a class of top. I have awesome wrapped around a span that has a class of bottom. Then I have the number 2 that's wrapped around a span with the class of superscript, super. Let's minimize this. Take a look at it in our browser. You see this is, is, is smaller font size and it's vertical line top, so it's at the top. And awesome, awesome is a smaller font size, but this time it's vertical line bottom. Then I have this 2, which was set to superscript. So 5 square equals 25. This is how you would use vertical line to the text. It vertical aligns itself and according to the elements around it, the text around it. Let's look at the last file. This is when it gets weird. So vertical line means aligning elements vertically. So if I have a div and I have an ID set for main, within the styles I have this ID set to height of 150 pixels, vertical line middle, 
and a background color of aqua. Let's look at what this file does in a browser. Basically, this, I'm assuming this would be vertical line middle, which I would want this text to be right here in the middle of the aqua box. But it doesn't. This is the weird part about CSS. And this is something you have to look out for when you're doing your design. But if you do come across any weird behaviors using the style sheet rule, try other settings or tr or try just getting around it by using some other styles to get the vertical line effect. Some of these include setting margins top, margins bottom, or paddings t around this box to have it look visually like it's in the middle. And that's it for this screencast. Thank you.